Hi everybody, it's Patty, Rockstar Mom, and welcome to my channel. First of all, I have a cold, so forgive me if my voice doesn't sound just quite right. I'm feeling so much better. It's been so long since I've actually recorded a video because of the holidays, but today I had planned on doing a video other than the one you're seeing right now, so you're going to see the sweater, you're going to see probably the jewelry, you're going to see the wig. So just wait for all of that for that next video. It'll be up in a couple of days. When I got up this morning, one of the things I do after I make my cup of coffee uh, is I'll sit down. I usually have just a few minutes to myself and I'll pick up my laptop and just skim through the news and, and I'll go over to YouTube and see what's going on. And that's what I did this morning. This video popped up in my feed, and it's something that is near and dear to my heart for a variety of reasons. And it's very, very serious. It affects me not only as a content creator, an entrepreneur, because that's what those of us here on YouTube are. If we're interested in seeing a little money for our efforts, we're entrepreneurs. If we're interested in seeing a lot of money for our efforts, we're entrepreneurs. We're, we're building our brand and Rockstar Mom is my brand. And Long gone are the days, with, with a few exceptions, of content creators or YouTubers getting in front of you saying that making money is not important to us. I, you know, yes, we have to love it. Yes, we have to love this to do it. We have to be willing to, to put ourselves out there in front of you. We have to recognize that maybe we have something to offer to like-minded women and some men out there. That's why we come on YouTube. And even though in the beginning, and especially way back in those early days, we thought, you know what, I'm just doing this for fun. We didn't even know we could make money. Now we know. Now we know we can make money, not by just AdSense here on YouTube where we get paid for those ads that run across the channel. You know, it's a, it's a match with YouTube, what we make, that all this information is out there. But we get sent product. We get sent product just to give our honest opinions own. We get, do not get paid for it. Some of us are fortunate enough to have companies approach us or brands approach us who want to pay us to do sponsored ads. And that is just another way of being an entrepreneur here, making money here, making a living here. Uh, and, and we all have our different views on that. And probably for many of us, we have varying views on that, varying degrees of views on that. But something that happened to me uh, recently, oh, with this, within this past year, that was very unsettling because I am not a large channel by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, I, I'm just not. Uh, but here's the deal. Wig Studio One offered to send me the Raquel Welch wig that I'm wearing today. I'm not going to give you any information on it. It's going to be in the upcoming video because I'll still have it on. But they offered to send me this wig to try and review. They did not pay me. They just sent me the wig. And I said, yes, I've been wanting to try a wig. I don't need a wig. I think wigs are cute. I look at wigs like earrings and rings and bracelets and jewelry and lipstick and eyeshadow. You know, a cute sweater. That's how I look at wigs. It's just a fashion accessory for me. Now, for some of you, you need to wear a wig for many different reasons. So it's a serious thing for you. I didn't think anything about it. I'm this, you know, I do the review on the wig and I'm just trucking along. My channel's just 
you know, growing and uh, and I'm just happy. I never even gave it a second thought. And one day, I received an email from someone I know who does not know that I have a YouTube channel. So many people that I see on a daily basis, my neighbors, uh, others that I may know, they don't know I have a YouTube channel. Some know I have a YouTube channel, but they're not into YouTube. This is, uh, they, they could care less about all this. This email was from someone who did not know that I actually have a YouTube channel. So, she said, I, I'm not going to, I don't believe this, Patty, but I just saw you on Facebook wearing a wig, talking about it. And I thought, oh no, <laughs> that got me. My heart just sunk because my video that I own here on YouTube, it is my sole property. Parts of that video had been stolen and woven in to that ad for that $25 wig when this is closer to a $400 wig. It made it appear that I was endorsing that wig that they made to look like this wig. Now, for most of us, our common sense would tell us they're not the same wig. A $25 wig looks exactly, feels exactly, may, is made exactly, has all the technology behind it as an almost $400 wig. Most of us realize that. Well, I, first of all, it upset me big time. And I did some Googling and some research and some backtracking and came to a site that actually put that video out. And I found an email address that I could send something to. And I sent a very strong letter. And I told them that, uh, you know, my husband is an attorney here in this country, which he is. Before he retired, he was a law professor. And I said, you know, if I, if I turn this over to my husband, I'm quite sure he's not going to be happy. And you're going to see, you know, some, you're going to see some action on my part as a result of this. I received the nicest letter back from them, or email saying that they would discontinue it immediately, they were sorry, and I never saw it again. Never saw it again. Never had anyone come back to me again. But just recently, it surfaced again. So there are, there's this monster out there that has all these arms and all these heads, and it is stealing our videos that we do honestly, and with integrity, the reviews. And they're taking our words out of our mouths and they're selling inferior product as the same. That's just the first level of it. And they're, they're not only doing it with the big, big, big content creators with millions of subscribers. They're doing it with the little people like me. There's a documentary on Netflix right now, and if you haven't watched it, I hope you will. It's called, I believe it's called Broken. If, it's, if that's not the title of it, I will post it across here, but I believe it's called Broken. And it, um, it's about the cosmetic industry and the fakes, the fake eyeshadow palettes, the fake makeup, that we buy on you on eBay and on other AliExpress and on all those other sites that look for all intents and purposes like it's the real thing, but it's not. It's something that these monsters out here have created to make it look exactly like 
what we think it is. So we think we're buying a $50 eyeshadow palette for $12, and it's the same thing, which it's not. It is, in this documentary, it is, it's just, they go into, into all the back scenes of how this fake product is created and what's put in it and what's used. And it will scare you to death. I will tell you that I have been tempted to purchase some things that were really marked down, eyeshadow palettes or makeup or skincare. Now some of you are going to say, oh well, this buyer, I trust this buyer, they bought up a bunch of, of uh, uh, an inventory of this particular product from the manufacturer, from the person who, whose name is behind it, and they're just reselling it. Well, it, th think about that. <laughs> Just think about that. The, they couldn't buy it as cheap as what they're selling it for. They couldn't. Some of these fake sites and monsters, they're buying it, or they're, they're buying the fakes, they're selling the fakes, but they're selling it for a higher price than we can actually get it from a legitimate source so that we're ensured that we're getting the right thing. Why would we do that? Because we've watched these videos of all of this new product being introduced and we want it to. And if we can get it for pennies on the dollar, well, it may not be quite as good, but it looks good. Now, it looks good. No one will know the difference. Well, we won't know the difference until we get staph infections, until we get glitter that's made out of who knows what we've put on our eyes, in our eyes, and it cuts our eyes. We don't know it until we get eye infections or skin infections. We start breaking out. We don't know it. If we've bought from that site, that fake monster out there, we don't know it until we start to see the bad stuff happening to us. And we naturally assume that, well, this is, you know, this is just bad product from this brand. Well, it's not. It's, it's fake product from one of these monsters. So this morning, a video popped up, and it was a Tati video. And I don't know if you know Tati. I don't know if you follow Tati. I have been a subscriber to Tati's uh, or of Tati's for years. And there are so many things I like about Tati. There are some things that, you know, I don't agree with her own. I don't enjoy watching those PR hauls where she's just crashing into all the boxes and throwing stuff around. You know, I appreciate that she does eventually get around to reviewing it all. But I literally stopped watching those because it was oversell to me. It was too much. It was just too much. So there are some things with Tati that I, I, just, I just don't watch. But Tati has her own brand, that she is the ultimate entrepreneur. And I think that, well, she has her supplements and now she has that eyeshadow palette, which I have not purchased. I have not purchased her supplements. I have not purchased, I think they're pricey. Uh, I, I think I can do as well uh, with my own things that I found that work for me, uh, and they're always ch that's always changing. I think uh, I, I'm not a fan of eyeshadow, the big eyeshadow palettes, and the reason I'm, I love them. I, listen, 
I absolutely love them. I see them and my, my mouth starts watering. I mean, I'm drooling. I want it. I, 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 you know, many of you know I paint and I draw and I'm artistic. And I just, you know, I see those colors and it's like an artist, a watercolor palette and I just want it. But I refrain from buying those and I have not purchased Tati's new palette. But I'm saying this to tell you, and Toddy has millions of subscribers. I mean, millions. Me, my little channel, I can, I can tell you to go watch Toddy's video, and probably hundreds of you may go over there and watch that video, and I think you should. I really think you should. But, but you could go over, and she still would know that your views came from me. She has, she has no idea that I exist on this planet in any shape, form, or fashion. I left the first comment I have ever left under her channel this morning, and it was thanking her for doing this video. That's the only comment I've ever left under one of her videos. And I've been watching her a long, long time. Okay. So I do, I do want you to go over and watch Toddy's video. I think it's about a 10 or a 12 minute video. Once you watch Toddy's video, if you've ever purchased one of these fake palettes before, or if you've thought about it, I think after watching this video, you won't. You'll never do it again. If you've, if you've done it before, you'll never do it again. If you've toyed with doing it, purchasing it, you won't do it. I, I want to say something here about our YouTube community, especially this, this mature community that most of us belong to. Uh, I. I rarely refer to being in the mature community very often because I think the mature community has shifted here uh, on YouTube. I think the mature community has gone way younger and some still refer to it after the late 60s and into 70s and on and a, a further on uh, age-wise. I'm 76, but I think I'm older. I, I know I'm mature, <laughs> I'm, I, and I'm still growing in my maturity, but I'm older. But the one thing that I can say about my presence here on YouTube, my channel, is that everything I've ever said to you in reviewing product has come from my heart. It is who I am. I have never purchased a subscriber. I have never purchased a view. I have never purchased a comment. There are those who do. And that is neither here nor there with me. It doesn't affect my channel growth one iota. It doesn't. Some people see nothing wrong with it. It's a great way to get sponsorships, to get the attention of brands. Some people think that maybe it's getting them uh, attracted to the YouTube algorithm or more attractive to the YouTube algorithm. Uh, and that may be true in a sense, the way that works. But I want what I have here on YouTube to be totally above board. I never want my ethics challenged. 
I will t always have, I always will tell you the good, the bad, and the ugly about anything. Every product I accept to show you that is a condition. If you send it to me, you don't know what you're going to get. You don't know. Therefore, I only accept product that I think I'm really going to like. Some, it's about proving who they are. Proving that they're a big fish in this pond. I'm not a big fish. I know who I am. I don't have to tell people who I am. I know. I don't have to buy the views. I don't have to buy the comments. I don't have to buy the subscribers. I don't have to hide any numbers so that you don't. You can't see. And again, for those who do that, that's fine. I don't care. I'm, we're, this video is about not only purchasing product that is good product or safe product by a reputable brand or it's buying cutting costs and buying cheap stuff that might harm us, has every potential to harm us. I think it goes with ethics. I think it goes with trust. Some things that, a couple of, a couple of things that Tati said in her video, and she, she just put it so brilliantly. It was almost like I was sitting there. Have you ever done this? I was sitting there and Tati was talking and my mouth was moving because I was just agreeing and, I, and it was like I couldn't have said it better. She said some words that she used is when you fall out of your moral code to get it. When you fall out of your ethics to get it. I would say, is it really worth it? It's not to me. It's not to me. As I said, I did not mean to film this video this morning. I, I got up with the intention of filming something fun and you're going to see it in another day or two. I'm going to get it up really soon, uh, as soon as I can actually. So you'll actually get two videos from me probably this week, uh, early on, within a couple of days. But. Go watch Toddy. If, if you're not a Toddy fan, you've watched her before, take a deep breath and click on it and watch it. And watch it now because, you know, some of you have probably already seen it and you probably love that video as much as I do. But just watch it because it'll make you stop and think. It'll make you stop and think about YouTube, about the beauty community on YouTube, about the superstars on YouTube, uh, the mega channels here on YouTube, especially in this beauty industry. You owe it to yourself to watch this video. I, I, just, I just don't think you'll regret it. I just don't think you'll regret it. And it's not so much, it's not about Tati, it's not about her supplements. It's not about her Tati eyeshadow palette, and I don't even know the name of it. It's not about Tati. It's about how I feel and how I want to represent myself here on YouTube. And I know so many other content creators who feel the same way I do. And there are some who don't. And that's okay too, but maybe 
through watching Tati's video, the way she explains it, her verbiage, it will resonate with you. And you'll go, oh, oh, I've noticed this. Well, I've noticed that. Oh, so that's, oh, okay, 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 I get it. Okay, that's it, this is over. Thank you for watching. Thank you so much for sticking in there with me. I, I know because of the nature of this video, I may get a lot of new people seeing it. If you see this video and you, you think you might like some, some more of Patty, Rockstar Mom, then click on my channel. I'll have a couple of videos that pop up here that uh, will direct you to a couple of my more popular recent videos so that you can see just who I am and what my channel is all about. And then if you like me, I hope you'll subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment. I love reading your comments, can't always answer them, but I love reading them and I do read them. Know that I love you and I'll see you real soon, okay? Bye-bye. Oh, and don't forget to go out and be kind. Just be kind. Be kind to yourself first. That way you can be kind to others. Love you. Again, bye-bye.